chosen to appear in the Child of the Week ad in the newspaper. The photographer's on his way now. Oh, cool, let's go and buy some new clothes before he gets uh, it. Uh, but Tracy, it's not really about looks, it's more about personality. Good job they didn't choose you then. You called a house meeting to talk about vegetables. <laughs> Jenny thinks she should eat more. Well, I just wondered what you thought. But we only like fries. True. Jenny wants us to explore the territory around vegetables that come in a colour. Like green. That's great news. The newspaper's offered us some extra space. Now Louise can have an ad too. Oh, no, I really object to this buy one, get one free approach, Elaine. You know, these are children, not special offers in a supermarket. Children who need foster parents, Jenny. Let's not forget that. Yes, we're working here. It's hardly likely, is it? Tracy's going to be very disappointed to find out that she's not the only one. Oh, she'll be fine. Once she sees the ad I've written. What, you've written it without even talking to her? I can't believe the only vegetables you guys can come up with are baked beans. Sorry, Duke. Could I borrow Louise? What's wrong with baked beans? They make them. Thank you, Maxie. They're not green, and they come in a tin. Duke's right. Why don't you make broccoli or cabbage? I told you she was wacko. Well, you want to eat stuff like that? I don't. But I'm not going to be here, because I've just been made Child of the Week, and my ad is going to be so totally brilliant that there'll be a flood of people desperate to foster me. And I'll be able to choose the richest, handsomest, spawny most parents. There'll be so many of them, they'll bribe me to pick them with all sorts of flashy presents. I reckon they'll have to lay on counsellors for the people I turn down. They'll be so upset when I reject them, because all of them are going to be dying to take me home. <laughs> then racing to bring you back again, just like the last time. Uh. I'd hate to live in a strange house with, well, strangers. Lucky they picked me instead of you, they weed. So we're laying the glorious pains in there now, telling Louise. She hasn't given it a second thought what it's going to do to Tracy. Yeah, well, we'd better be ready with the bandages. Child of the Week, Tracy. But now Louise is too. Then I'm not Child of the Week, am I? Because two childs make a children. Any thicko knows that. Stop whinging. It's only a stupid ad no one cares about. You would care if you were Child of the Week, which I'm not. I don't need to be, because I've got a dad. Tracy's got a mum? Yes, but my dad visits, unlike her invisible mum. She is not invisible! That's enough, Tracy. She started it. I don't know why they're getting all the fuss anyway. Because we're Childs of the Week, so we're special, and you're not. Coming, Louise? OK, here's how we should play it. All these kids are grinning their heads off, so we should look sad. Sort of puppy in a pet shop look. All the foster parents will want to come and rescue us. That's dead clever, Trace. Ta-da! Oh, it looks like an explosion in a bogey factory. Mm, that looks gross. <laughs> this from the girl who asked for broccoli. Give them a try. You might like them. Tracy, I can't. Mmm, Duke, you're right, they're delicious. Told you. and then you fry them. Really? Yeah. So, how are we doing in here? Fine. My courgette chips have gone down a storm. Great. 
Tracy, when you've finished, the photographer's here. Sorry, people. Mustache. The press hate it when you keep them waiting. So, you know what we're after, don't you, Brian? Sure. I do this sort of stuff all the time. Ah, oh, Tracy. Say hello to Brian. Hello, sweetheart. What's your name? I hope you pay more attention than that to my photos. I'm Tracy. Elaine just said so. Tracy? There! She did it again! Right. Well, let's give it a go then, shall we? Tracy, you're trying to get fostered, not applying for a job as an undertaker. So, do you want the full just thing that you would make over, or just a smidge of lip gloss? Nothing, thanks. Are you sure? It makes your lips look better when you smile. I'm not going to smile. Lou, don't you want to get fostered? Of course I do. We've got a plan. You're going along with the Tracy Beaker plan. Have you completely lost it? What are you doing? Disposing of the evidence. and he still can't get it right. It's hard to take a decent photo of a kid who refuses to smile. All right, you two. Now, let's try again, shall we? Right, Tracy. Watch the birdie. <laughs> Can you send Louise in, please? But when are we going to write my ad? Oh, I've already written it. What? You're a social worker, not a writer. You'll like it. Listen. Tracy is a lively, healthy, chatty ten-year-old who's been in care for a number of years. She has a few behavioural problems and needs firm, loving handling in a long-term foster home. Is that the best you could say? That I'm healthy? I say you're lively, too. That's grown-up code for difficult. Problems. Your aunt stinks and I hate it. Only mad people are going to want to foster me and it'll all be your fault. Tracy, wait. <laughs> Elaine's written totally cruddy stuff about me in my ad. Go and tell her that she has to change it. I'm sorry, Tracy. She's your social worker. It's up to her what gets written. Louise, that's a pretty name. But you've got a pretty smile to go with it. Oh, no, not another one who don't know how to smile. Come on, sweetheart. You can do better than that. Fantastic. All right, Mike. Maxie's in there. Corsets. All right there, Maxie. What's going on? Elaine the Payne's written totally cruddy stuff in my Child of the Week ad, so I'm redoing it. How many L's in brilliant? Two. Wish I had a decent photo to go with it. Why don't you take your own? I would if I had a camera. Where are you going? You only just got here. Do you want a camera or not? Oh, Elaine, I want to see Tracy's ad. She's very upset about it. Well, I can't think why. Anyway, it's on your desk. I'm just going to drop Brian off at the station. We'll talk when I get back. By the way, your toilet seems to be blocked. I've written a new ad! We're going with the one I've written, Tracy. You'll like it once you see the pictures written with the words. I've left it with Jenny. I'll show you. Next time you do courgettes, could you make them a little bit more flush friendly? They haven't. <sighs> Louise Govan, you traitor.
water. Look at this. We had a pact to look really sad so people would want to come and rescue us. Don't know that that looks doing you any favours, Beaker. But it's your ad. Shall we? You've got one. Where from? Do you want to talk or take photos? Ah, you're going for the smile then. Yeah, you're right. This is the look that's going to get me fostered. People all around the world are going to be desperate to foster me when they see my new advert. Slimy green stuff. Thanks, guys. And a mob's axe. We'll have them for tea. I was going to do pizza and chips, but if you'd rather have these, I'm good with that. Now, shall I fry them, roast them, stew them, or cut out the middleman and stuff them straight down the toilet? Sorry, Duke. We did try to tell you. I know. I didn't listen. We'll call it quits. But if you ever pick my vegetables again without permission, I'll boil them for a week and make you suck the mush up through a straw. Just passing through, are we, Tracy? What are you doing with that? Well, at least it's right now. Have you a place in your hearts for dear little Tracy? Brilliant and beautiful, this sweet little girl needs a loving home. Very rich parents prefer it as poor little Tracy needs lots of expensive presents to make up for her tragic past. Tracy, you've ruined it. What have you done to poor Louise? Who wants to foster Louise? She's very shy, but could be rewarding. Tracy Beaker, you're a one-off. Of course I am. I'm not just child of the week. I am child of the year. Yeah, what a star. But on with my show. So today's the big day. I finally get rid of that bad beaker stink from my bedroom. And how are you going to do that, little brain? Because my dad is the best dad in the whole world. And he's given me money and paint to redecorate your yucky walls. It will be like you're never even there. Thank you. Oi! This will just about cover all the pocket money advances you've had off me. You'll be pig sick when you see how great my room is next to your cruddy little pit. You're not the only one who can paint that room, but when I do it, it will be a million times better than yours. Everyone tries to steal my ideas. I'll have zebra print curtains, a film star dressing table with some very special features, and a beautiful glittering mirror ball. Because Justine's dad gave her the money for the materials and because your room's not scheduled for a redeck for another six months. Let Justine wait then. My room's scratchier than hers. Tracy, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Why don't you give Justine a hand? I'd rather skip naked through the centre of town. <laughs> This is going to be just like one of those TV makeover programs, only better. Steady, steady on it. Uh, be careful with that paint, will you? Maxie, put the hammer down. Wait, no. Can you keep it down a bit? Adele, listen, we could really use your artistic skills in here. It's not going to work, Mike. What? The flattery. I'm not helping. I, uh, who says I need help? Your face and these kids. Don't beg, Mike, it's so tragic. Anyway, I'm busy. This project's got to be in on Monday and I still ain't got a clue what to do. You're on your own, pal. No, no! Right, I want shelves over there and a built-in unit over there. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. First, we can't do built-in units. And secondly, hey, Trace. Have you come to help? Um, no, actually, I've come to see Louise. Plan to come down the shops with me? I can't, I'm helping Justine. Louise, what do you think of this colour? Sorry, Trace, 
Temper. Don't get stuck in the naughty corner again, do you? If you're not careful, I'll, I'll, I'll stick you! You think you're so big, Dusty Littlewood? Tracy, you wouldn't get us a cup of tea, would you? Meet me down by the shed. Why can't I have Deborah print curtains and a film star dressing table? It's my room! Justine, I don't think the budget will stretch that far. Ryan, will you cut that out? What about a mirror ball instead of a stupid light? Isn't that exactly what Tracy wanted? Yeah, but Tracy can afford it. And neither can we. I'm going to paint the walls and put up a few shelves, all right? Is that all? Isn't it enough? Away. That's what's up. They've all turned against me, and I never want to see any of them ever again. So where to? Anywhere, just as long as it's away from this stump. You've managed to write without a roof over your head. I want to be just like you. So let's go. Will you not keep the noise down? I'm trying to work in it. So you're going to show me where you sleep at night? What I'd show you my country house. What happened to your mum and dad? I don't want to talk about it. Friends are more important, I reckon. Yeah, friends are good, but... I've got a new game on my phone. I better beat your highest score. You're supposed to cut around the petals? Yeah, I was going to get to that. What do you think? Wow! I've had loads of bedrooms before, but this is going to be the best ever. No, 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 no. Peter, take him and hold him down, will you please? Oh. I think this colour looks great. No, it's a bit too orangey. Now what this needs is a bit of yellow. Stop, 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 stop. Now a bit of green. Stop. Now a bit of purple. Easy. Purple, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I've watched it on TV hundreds of times. Stop. Zach! You've ruined it! I didn't ruin it, I know exactly what you told me to do. No, you didn't. You did this on purpose. Steady, steady, Zach. All right, everyone, come on, let's go and get cleaned up and have some lunch. Come on. Out. Watch the paintings. Find that paint. Where are you going? We haven't finished yet. I think you'll find we have. We 
could live here forever. Yeah. We don't need adults, they just get in the way of having a good time. Yeah. We don't need anybody. We can hunt for food, find wood for our fire. Who needs the dumping ground? Got anything to eat? I'm starving. There's some chocolate in my bag, hold on. Then. Yeah, finished as in wrecked. Good. Then I can get on my project in peace. Uh, that's a bad sprain you've got there, but I don't think it's broken. Tracy, you got your stuff. Right, we've got to get you home. Where'd you live? 67 Abercorn Road. I know it. All right, can you stand up on that leg? Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah. Go on then. Ah. All right. I'm glad we went to go and get help. Wow, did you see that house? It was huge. I bet it's got a swimming pool. Are you staying in a squat at the moment? Is that where we're going? Is there room for me? I got an attitude and I don't ever I'd love it in a squat. Don't worry. We'll look out for each other. What does she want? Come and ask her yourself. What's going on? Open your eyes. Ta -da! So, Justine, our team of designers arranged this transformation in less than two hours. What do you think? I love it. That can't be those grey bits of wood. They're beautiful. That was handy, Ryan. Adele, tell us how much you had to spend and what was your best buy. Well, Ryan, I had 20 pounds, some willing helpers and a wreck of a room, but my best buy were the spray paints. You did all this on 20 quid? Yeah, which means you still owe me for those pocket money advances. What are you doing? Making pictures of my college design project. I should ace it, what do you reckon? Yeah. To you. Fine, Mum, don't fart. Mum? Mum, this is my friend Tracy. He uh, fell out of a tree. Don't worry, I think it's only a sprain. He'll be all right in a few days. Well, thank you very much for bringing him home. This is your mum. Nice to meet you, Tracy. Would you and your dad like to come in for some tea? I don't want any of your stinking tea. And he is not my dad. Have a good laugh, did you, in your fancy house with your fancy mum? I hate you, you big fat liar! I should uh, go. Oh, right. Well, uh, thanks again for bringing him home. Mind your ankle. Thanks. What was that all about? Nothing. My dad, not nearly good looking enough. Are you all right? Yeah. Be better after one of Duke's double cheeseburger specials with extra toppings. Take me home.